Armeg, the black, damning dog, rests eons upon, waiting, waiting to wake upon the dark dawn. Major mishaps cry, Mars blazes high, slugs fly, thunderbirds and dragons breathing fire, men and women sporting tears. Media spreading lies and fear that the world no longer hears. Metallic eels tie knots. Blazing by go flaming rocks. Bodies do they chop. Still the hairless, hateful apes. Same still spewing fear and hate. Filtering the tapes. Yet to go on pulling the strings of the critics of the break. Adam arrives here, spreading fright and fear. Cross the great sphere. Adam descends, clouds above high, the thirsty third messiah, his motives only for all to cry. Adam makes you char, he rages, blows you off disgustingly dissecting the broth. Remnants to make bloody coughs. Fauna, inside out. Flora, all wiped out. Hell, just a little fallout. Limbs, swollen to burst. You ponder how it was before it hurt. And you realize, with unquenchable thirst, humanity doomed to dirt, slinking in the radioactive fog. None but one livid life lives. Tispy Armeg, the black damning dog, for he hath woken upon the dark dawn. Scouring the soil for signs of turmoil from the demons who fought for oil. Chuckling from above it all, Armeg smiles at humanity's fall. Reality is, their greed is at fault. Far off is his master's call. Towards, Armeg must crawl. Armeg hobbles back to the devil's cave to wait. To wait for another man to populate. To contemplate. How nature can let them all waste, to always spawn such creatures of hate. Yet throughout this all, Lucy laughs. Lucy laughs at the aftermath, the whole time sitting back. Always to himself he asks, how is it they are so deaf? The dark dawn hath come and gone, for eternity all to see more men fall.